Hello investors, I, thought, I hope all of you are doing really well. I'm coming to you with another recap video for today. Uh, today was <laughs> interesting for sure. Uh, lots of ups and downs, um, some pretty crazy stuff. I'm um, just gonna kind of go through the list here and kind of cover um, what happened. Uh, me personally, I had a 0.80% gain, so not even a 1% gain, just kind of a really small. I thought I should have done better. Uh, there were um, there were definitely some stocks that didn't perform the way that I thought they would, um, but that's going to happen. You know, hey, it's a gain. We'll take it and uh, move on to the next day and, and uh, just try to learn from any mistakes that we made. Um, the number seven on last night's list was VERI, Veritone, and... Um, I actually made the rare decision of recommending a stock on my list and not purchasing it personally. So I went on stock twits this morning and I, there was another stock I was more interested in. Um, and so I kind of talked a lot about that and then said that I wasn't going to buy it. Um, you know, I really didn't do hot on that stock that I replaced it with, but you know, it had insider activity late last night. And so I thought it was a good choice, but uh, it was just kind of okay. I'll cover uh, it, my choice and why I did what I did uh, a little bit later on in this video. Um, but first of all, I'm just going to kind of go through the list and kind of if you stuck with the list and you didn't make any changes and you didn't follow me on stock twits and see my intraday changes, then you would have had a pretty decent day. You probably would have had right at a point eight percent gain, which ended up being about what I did anyway. Um, but anyway, Very was the first one. Uh, it had a great volume uh, and it kind of it went way down at first. And so uh, real nervous. Uh, I had a hard time getting in in a pre-market because it had shot up and I didn't feel comfortable getting in it at that price. It was one of the contributing factors to me choosing the other stock that I chose. Uh, but anyway, uh, had 821, 288 volume, the average volume 727, so that's above average. I really think that this stock is worth $20 a share. It'll probably be on the list again. Um, I just, um, I don't know. I, I didn't buy it. I apologize if that offends anybody, but I didn't do it. And uh, it turned out, eh, you know, not that great. But I think if you continue to hold it, it is worth $20 a share. Um, and I'm expecting the mark to really turn around, especially after Powell decided to keep interest rates the same uh, later this afternoon. So hoping we should have a good day tomorrow. So we won't have all this anticipation of what Powell's gonna do for sure. Okay, so that's very. And then number six on the list was Resi. Um, yeah, Resi did not have that great a day, that's for sure. Um, at the beginning of the day, it really, really dropped. And um, so I put out a notification that I was that I sold it. I actually sold it for a 6% loss, which is very, very unfortunate on an insider. It did not perform. It just didn't look like it was going to perform. And so I just needed to get out of it. And uh, I'll go through the chart here later on to kind of explain why. Um, it had lower than average volume. And um, anyway, very unexpected. I thought for sure it would go up, but it didn't. And you know, that's gonna happen sometimes. And I drop a couple stocks from the list every, every day and replace them with something else. And I'm sure you've noticed that. Um, okay, so that's Resi. Next um, is TTOO. What a fantastic uh, pick that was. Um, one of the subscribers and followers from from Stock Twits and also um, who, who's a subscriber on YouTube uh, recommended this stock and I'm so glad that, that he did. And finally I gave in and did my own due diligence and decided this is a great investment. I think that this is gonna be a great long-term hold. I plan on holding this. Um, had great success with it today at 12.93% uh, percent return and it's up a little bit in the aftermarket. Uh, tremendous volume. You can see more than double volume. So people are buying in. Uh, one of the key things is, is that uh, this stock was, there was a worry of delisting with this stock, uh, with the NASDAQ. Um, but now that is a, that has gone away. And um, they should announce that here soon that they've they've hit the requirement because they've had the a number of days that they needed above $1 in order to qualify and still be listed. So Anyway, uh, that's wonderful news, and there's so many positive things with this company. I am expecting FDA approval on their sepsis test that they have. 
Um, also, um, there's some utilization for coronavirus on that too. There's just lots of great things in the pipeline. This is going to be a great long-term hold. You can see this guy on the list a long time. I don't plan on letting go of it anytime soon. It was 30% up and I had people, should I sell? Should I sell? And I don't think so. I think there's just so far it can go. So I think this is a $10 share stock. We'll see what happens. All right. Well, I'm in it great. So we'll just hold it and see what happens. Okay. Next is EPZM. EPZM has uh, PDUFA approval coming up, and um, that is on next Thursday, I believe, a week from Thursday, so a week from tomorrow. Uh, and it's been marching up. It's been doing really well, uh, just a couple percent every day, but I'll take it. It had great volume today, which is one thing that I look for, and I, can, I think it'll continue to do well. The next is Avid, had a nice little bounce back day, uh, really low volume. I was, you know, real happy to see it do well in such low volume. Um, and well, you know, it was up 1%. I'm down total in this stock. Um, we're getting a little bit far away from the insider buying that where I'm comfortable. So if there's not any news, I could see this one dropping from the list, maybe tomorrow sometime. But um, anyway, um, I think it's worth a lot more than what it is and hopefully has some uh, some more insider buying. Typically when you see insider activity, you see it just a few days, days later and a few days later. So you see them kind of load up over a couple of days. So I'm hoping there's some there's some uh, insider activity reported on this tonight and we get a nice little after hour spike, but we'll see what happens. Um, Evoke, um, you know, I had um, one of the people who who follow me on, on StockTwits suggest I get an Evoke t-shirt and wear it my next video. Uh, I thought that was kind of funny. Um, but anyway, um, it had eh, an okay day, great volume. Um, so I like to see that, you know, a real small move down on great volume. I'll take that little accumulation. Uh, I, th I think Evoke is worth a lot more than what it's trading at. So we got PDUFA coming up next Friday. So I do expect this one to climb pretty heavily. And uh, number one on the list was NBRV. Did not have that great a day. Had fantastic volume, 12 million versus the average four, four and a half million. Uh, negative 1.42, um, which is just, you know, just kinda, uh, you know, yeah, lost a little bit on it. But uh, overall, I'm doing really well on it. So I'm happy with it. We'll just see, we'll just, uh, see what happens and keep with it. All right, so I wanted to cover and go through and talk about on Think and Swim, Think or Swim, and see um, the different things that we had going on here. First is Resi, um, and you can see here, right at the beginning of the day, I made my decision to sell, gosh, right around 8.35ish, and so first thing you notice is right at the beginning of the day, you see the red EMA line pass below the green SMA line. And uh, that's a bad sign for a stock. And so I became concerned at that point. And so seeing it drop and then seeing four red bars in a row right there as we open, uh, not good. So by the time the fifth red bar, I was already processing my order to sell. And uh, I ended up selling for a 6% loss, just very unfortunate. Now it did have a nice little recovery, but it dropped all the way down to 10% down. And then, um, you know, it recovered throughout the day. And, um, you know, I kind of wish I would have known this was going to happen. But again, I'm not a wizard. I don't know when this is going to happen. So if uh, when you see a drop, when it's just going to magically recover. So I don't have those kind of powers. So I just kind of rely on on rules that I have. And and it, it, it finished overall 4% down. Just not even not a great day. Um, but so that was Resi. Uh, and the other um, I didn't purchase was very, um, I won't really kind of cover that, but I will cover what I chose in, in, in return of that. So I'm going to go to insidermonitor.com and I'm going to go to the past 10 days that's up at the top. So when you go to the top, you see the t top 10 and past trade. Um, you go down here to um, insider buys one day ago and uh, I'll show you what I saw late in the day oh, get rid of the ads there's always an ad right um okay so um just kind of going through here uh applied data sciences so this is the one that i saw um, william montgomery made two open market insider buys one at six dollars and 58 cents the other eight dollars and six cents uh, for big amounts of money so 
I, I liked that. When I saw that, uh, I thought that was great. So we went ahead and bought into APDN instead of Very. Um, I try never to do that. I just had seen this and then I put out a notification saying that it looked really good. And then it dropped. It didn't do well. So it's not like you missed out on anything. Um, ABDN. So I'll show you kind of the, um, I'll kind of show you the, it, it really didn't do that great today. I'll kind of show you on here. Excuse me going back and forth like this, but uh, insiders. APDN. Uh, yeah, finished 3.07 3 down and then an additional 0.92 down. So, yeah, you didn't miss much. Um, it had really, really low volume. 378,000 versus a normal of 2.04. Um, that's not good. But, yeah, you know, uh, it, big insider buying. Hopefully news is coming. So that's the reason why I'm in it. I'll stay in it see what happens with it. I like to stay in insiders, so that's what we'll do. All right. Well, I uh, hope you all had a great um, trading day, and I'm sure tomorrow will be even better. Uh, please watch for my video later today, and I'll kind of cover and go through that. And uh, anyway, happy investing.